channel, Sunshine Squirrel here. Today we are headed to Hollywood Studios and then to the Flower and Garden Festival. So what do you say? We tour Hollywood. So it is currently 9.35 a.m. Pretty busy already. Pretty busy already here, looks like. Toy Story Mania has a 45 minute wait. Slinky Dog Dash is at an 80 minute wait. Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway is at a 60 minute wait. Um, and then Rise of the Resistance is actually currently down. So no riding currently. Millennium Falcon is also at a 60 minute wait. That's cool. Dinosaur, and if you don't know, the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt and Spectacular is actually going to be going away. So if you're going to be visiting Disney World soon, you may want to catch that show for potentially the last time. And typically, when you come into a Disney World theme park or any Disney theme park, the front of the park is always going to be the most crowded. It's kind of like where everyone congregates. But as you get further back in, as you can see, there's not as many people all the way back here. We're gonna head to Star Tours. Um, current wait for that ride is five minutes, so not bad at all. I have noticed that ever since Galaxy Edge has opened, that Star Tours in particular has really low wait times. And I think it's because it's, I mean, I love the ride, but I think in comparison to the other Star Wars themed attractions, it's probably, you know, lower on the tier as far as technology and things like that and it's kind of away from galaxy's edge so a squirting at water <laughs> that's cool so the wait time just changed to 20 minutes Typically that kind of thing happens. So if you see an attraction that has a really low wait time, everyone kind of rushes to it. And the at, -AT is actually squirting out water um, from its blasters like it used to. So that's kind of cool that they have that on today. Something that's really cool about this at, -AT is that it looks like it's huge and it's colossal and you know, larger than life. But I'm gonna show you something kind of funny when we go to the other side of it. It literally is only a half of one, <laughs> and it makes me wonder um, if that's you know what they did in the movies. I have a feeling probably in the movies it was just CGI, but I thought that's kind of funny that they make you feel like it's a huge, larger than life ATAT, -AT, but it's been cut in half like a slice of bread. Hollywood Studios, I think it's a really cool park, but it is one of the parks that I don't necessarily Mr. Like coming to, just Mr. because Park, when the attractions go down, and Star the Wars um, Thank you. it just kind of leads to oversaturation because the same people that would be on line for rise then are kind of all distributed throughout the park, and so it can get really busy. Um, Rock and Roller Coaster is actually going through refurbishment now, so that's down as well, so that's another heavy hitter mm -hmm. attraction that can really take care of people, and now those people are dispersed around the park, so just kind of something to keep in mind when you come to Hollywood Studios, it's best to come early in the morning or to come in the evenings. So we're now going to catch out the Vacation Fun by Mickey's Short Film Theater. I haven't seen this yet and I've always wanted to do it and today just seems like the perfect day to check it out because it's super, super busy. So let's check out this theater. I don't know if any of you guys remember, but this used to be the Sounds Dangerous studio and you would go to the theater and you put headphones on and they would turn off the lights and it was just like, you would hear a story and it was like you were part of the story but you couldn't see anything because the main character turned off the lights and then you would go out and then they had this little sound studio where you could record yourself over classic Mickey cartoons and it was a lot of fun. So I'm excited to see what they've done with this show and how they've updated it. The 
Look at that. The kid. <laughs> Here, some of your favorite shorts. Potato wing! They have Switzerland here. They have Egypt. So, overall, guys, I thought the show was really, really cute. It takes you back through some of your favorite Mickey Mouse shorts. I'm a huge fan of them. I use them to go to sleep. So, <laughs> I think that they're really funny and really cute. So, if you like the Mickey Mouse shorts, you're really going to like the show. And then afterwards, you get to take pictures of some of your favorite shorts. Um, all the different little setups um, that they do, so it kind of makes you feel like you're inside of the cart. Runaway railway to our left. This main pub area is pretty empty right now. So we're now making a coffee stop at Joffrey's. It's right next to Walt Disney Presents, <clears throat> where you can see Walt Disney's One Man Stream and Sully. To the left is Toy Story Land. This Joffrey's is always super busy though. Um, it's the only Joffrey's in Hollywood Studios, so if you come in the morning, just be forewarned, you're probably gonna be waiting a few minutes. Okay, that's it. This is a cinnamon roll as well. It's huge. They have those iconic big donuts, but I'm kind of particular about the donuts that I like, so I wanted to get this cinnamon roll instead. So this is the round and up hot latte. It does come iced or hot, and it's cookie butter flavored, and then it's topped with animal cookies, sprinkles, and whipped cream. All right guys, so a review of this latte. Really good actually, it's pretty sweet. So I would say core life decision of mine was to get a cinnamon roll with this <laughs> because it's super sweet. I feel like I need something salty now, um, but it's, it's really good. I would say, I don't necessarily know if it tastes like cookie batter, it just tastes like sugar. So um, if you're someone like me that likes your creamer with a little bit of coffee, then uh, you probably will like this beverage. Um, and I mean, I love getting iced any coffee sort of beverage, so I knew I would probably like this. Um, and cinnamon roll was really good as well. It tasted really fresh. Sometimes when you get cinnamon rolls or pastries from booths and things like that, they can be a little bit dry and stale. It did not taste stale at all. And once again, the cinnamon roll was super sweet as well, and it was huge. I could not eat all of it. Um, so definitely something that you can share. So maybe get two black cups of coffee or two cold brews and then share a cinnamon roll. This is currently the line for Lightning Lane. So the part of the reason the line was so long was because the ride is currently down. So just keep that in mind when you purchase Genie Plus guys is that the rides can go down and then when they go down, you not all the times can use another lightning ink experience at one of the other popular attractions. So sometimes you're kind of stuck and then you can use your lightning lane that you made for this ride for another ride, but it tends to be things like, you know, Muppets and things like that that aren't as popular. So just keep that in mind. Um, sometimes with Genie Plus, that's something bad that can kind of happen. So much fun. My score 152, 500, best one in the vehicle. I know it's really probably not that good of a score compared to some of you guys out there, but I wasn't a big video gamer growing up, so for me, for me, that's a good score. 
so we just hit up the restroom to wash our hands after getting on Toy Story Mania. I don't know if any other people out there like me, but when we have those kind of high contact, high touch point rides, Buzz Lightyear, Toy Story Mania, any ones where you're like having to like repeatedly touch over things other people touch, I just, I have to wash my hands, I have to hand sanitize something, so. I think now we're gonna go see if Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is back online, um, and then we'll go on that attraction next. Feet and legs inside your train car at all times. Be sure to stay.
This is my first plate. I have the spring peas, crispy tofu, turkey, baked chicken, macaroni and cheese, Brussels sprouts, roasted pork, and white rice. All looks really good. So pro tip for you guys, at the end of your meal, you can order a cup of coffee in a to-go cup and then you have a free cup of coffee for the road. This Oswald shirt is cute. That's such a cute diffuser. It comes right at the top there. It's nice. I wonder how much it is. Water bottle. <laughs> so it is $59.99. USB cord included. Alright guys, we're at Epcot for flower and garden right as we enter we have beautiful Encanto here and then my favorite site to see at Epcot is Space Shipper. Same speed as your time machine
So here we have the Orange Bird Super Cup and it's a really cool Super Cup because he's actually holding a Super Cup. It comes with an orange smoothie, has a little bit of lemon in it as well. You can get it filled in here or you can get it on the side. And then we also got a little golden book that comes with it and it's a Disney Orange Bird book and it's all about him. It's very, very nice, very, very cute. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we were at Epcot very, very brief because it was packed. I knew it was going to be busy because it's Sunday, so it's a weekend. So you're going to have vacationers, you're going to have locals, you're going to have people that are just starting their Disney trip. A lot of people tend to arrive on Sundays, um, but it was just getting like too tight. And anybody knows that like the World Showcase, I love it, but when it's crowded, it can be really, really rough because you just have like all of these people kind of squished in and it's just kind of hard to move around. And at that point for me, it's no longer enjoyable because I just feel like I can't even like walk like normally, you know? Um, and so decided to head back to the resort for a little bit and just relax. Um, we're gonna head into Hollywood Studios again tonight. Um, May hit up a couple of attractions, um, but the main reason we're going back in is because we have dinner reservations um, at Sci-Fi. Um, Sci-Fi restaurant is a must-do for our family. I, I don't know why, you know, to be honest with you, I think the food is average. It's kind of like a burger and fry sort of place. Um, but I think part of the fun of sci-fi is just the, the atmosphere. So I feel like a lot of people eat at sci-fi because of the experience. It's not necessarily because it's like a fine dining, you know, establishment. But it's a tradition for us. Every time we come to Disney, we have to go to sci-fi. Um, so we'll be heading there later tonight. And just, I'll show you guys my current view. I'm just chilling on the balcony here. Um, so if you're newer around here, um, this trip we are staying at Saratoga Springs. Um, Saratoga Springs is a Disney Vacation Club resort. It has a total of five sections, and I guess technically six if you include the treehouse villas carousel section in my opinion I think is the farthest section um, here this resort is so spread out and basically all the, the road down to my left is Broadway and um, down that road is when you get to the rest of the buildings and the carriage house which is going to be your main building of this resort registration the artist palette which is the quick service option turf um, club, bar, and grill, which is the restaurant option here. Uh, just kind of hanging out on the balcony. Uh, temperature currently 85 degrees. Um, not very humid, but it is pretty warm in the sun. But here on the balcony, it's it's gorgeous out here. Just This is part of, for me, when you come on a Disney trip, it's important to take time to relax and to actually have a vacation. So then when you go back, to work, school, you don't need a vacation from your vacation. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright guys, we are back at Hollywood Studios. It is currently 8 o'clock. Park closes tonight at 9.30. Our dinner reservations are at 9.05, so cool thing about that is that we will literally be like the last ones in the park, which is the whole reason why we booked our reservations so late, so we can walk around, get all sorts of cool pics and video footage when the park is closed. So I was able to snag a lightning lane for Smuggler's Run, so we're going to go do that first really fast before dinner. <laughs> Galaxy's Edge is super busy tonight. There's people all over the place, it, but it looks really, really cool at nighttime. If you've never been inside of Galaxy's Edge during night, hours you definitely need to just come in check it out um, so you can experience it for yourself Falcon is <laughs> big, not bad. 
That's not enough money. <laughs> Nine thousand. Um, Alright guys, we just got off of Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. That was the longest time that I've ever been on it. We were on it for 2 minutes and just about 45 seconds. Um, I'm not sure what the longest ride time is. Let me know in the comments below. But it was such a long ride. It was great. We got tons of coaxium. And I don't know, it's just fun when you're riding with other guests in the park and you can just all have an experience like that together and be excited about how well you all did. So definitely Smuggler's Run is one of my favorite attractions here. All right guys, it's time for our dinner reservation at Sci-Fi and Dine. How are we doing tonight? Good, how are you? Good, good. good. My name is Jose and I believe Carl Hop. Before we get started, do we have any food allergies? Uh, tree nuts. Tree nuts? Yeah. All right. So we offer Coke products. We also have our shakes, which are vanilla, chocolate, and Oreo. We have a full service bar as well. All of our burgers do come with fries. If you want any wings instead, there's an upcharge of $2.49. And the feature film burger on the menu tonight is a serpent's bacon. It has a beef patty topped with a shrimp and crab cake. It has pepper jack cheese, sauteed onions, tomato arugula, and chipotle hollandaise. Make you serve with some drinks? Uh, Coke, please. Coke, please. Do you have any questions about the menu? Do we need a few more minutes or are we ready? I think we're good. Ready? Um, can I have the pork on? Because grilled cheese is not technically on the menu. Um, I'll see what he can do. Okay. 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 Try to 
in a fry basket. This is the pork on pork burger. It's a pork patty topped with pork belly, red onion, and mustard. And then we have it with fries and it's served in this cute little tray. And then over here, we have a grilled cheese sandwich, which is not on the menu, but if you ask nicely, they can do that as well. Alright guys, so we just finished eating at Sci-Fi. It is currently 10.32 and I thought there would have gonna be a lot of people in the parks but there's actually a phantasmic showing at 10 o'clock so it's still really crowded so even though the park closes at 9 30 the last show of phantasmic is at 10. um so that is a way to be in the parks a little bit later in addition to having a later dining reservation but i'll see if i can show you guys what the front of the park looks like just so you can see how crowded or not crowded i should say it is Thank you guys so much for watching this Hollywood Studios vlog. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!